Explanation Pythagoras Theorem In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. In triangle PQR, angle PQR is equal to 90 degree. Line PR square is equal to line PQ square plus line QR square. We will write this as PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. The lengths PQ, QR and PR of triangle PQR can also be shown by letters R, P and Q. With this convention, referring of figure Pythagoras theorem can also be stated as Q square is equal to P square plus R square. Pythagorean triplet In a triplet of natural numbers, if the square of the largest number is equal to the sine of the squares of the remaining two numbers, then the triplet is called Pythagorean triplet. For example, in the triplet 11, 60, 61, 11 square is equal to 121, 60 square is equal to 3600, 61 square is equal to 3721, and 121 plus 3600 is equal to 3721. The square of the largest number is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two numbers. Therefore, 11, 60, 61 is a Pythagorean triplet. Verify that 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, 24, 25, 7 are Pythagorean triplets. Numbers in Pythagorean triplet can be written in any order. Formula for Pythagorean triplet A square plus B square A square minus B square to AB. For example, if we take A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 3, A square plus B square is equal to 34, A square minus B square is equal to 16, 2 AB is equal to 30. Check that 34, 16, 30 is a Pythagorean triplet. Assign different values to A and B and obtain 5 Pythagorean triplet. Last year, we have studied the properties of right angle triangle with the angles 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree and 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree. 1. Property of 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. If acute angles of a right angle triangle are 30 degree and 60 degree, then the side opposite to 30 degree angle is half of the hypotenuse and the side opposite to 60 degree angle is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. In the figure in triangle LMN, angle L is equal to 30 degree, angle N is equal to 60 degree, angle M is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, side opposite to 30 degree angle is equal to MN is equal to half into LN. Side opposite to 60 degree angle is equal to LM is equal to root 3 upon 2 into LN. If LN is 6 cm, we will find MN and LM. MN is equal to half into LN. Is equal to half into 6 is equal to 3 cm. LM is equal to root 3 upon 2 into ln is equal to root 3 upon 2 into 6 is equal to 3 root 3 centimeter. 2. Property 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree. Triangle. If the acute angles of a right angle triangle are 45 degree and 45 degree, then each of the perpendicular side is 1 upon root 2 times the hypotenuse. See figure in triangle XYZ, XY is equal to 1 upon root 2 into ZY, XZ is equal to 1 upon root 2 into ZY. If ZY is equal to 3 root 2 cm, then we will find XY and ZX. XY is equal to XZ is equal to 1 upon root 2 into 3 root 2. Therefore, XY is equal to XZ is equal to 3 centimeter. 
Let's do this. Take two congruent right angle triangles. Take another isosceles right angle triangle whose congruent sides are equal to the hypotenuse of the two congruent right angle triangles. Join these triangles to form a trapezium. Area of the trapezium is equal to half into sum of the lengths of parallel sides into height. Using this formula, equating the area of trapezium with the sum of areas of the three right angle triangles, we can prove the theorem of Pythagoras. Let's find the area of three triangles in the given trapezium. Area of a triangle is equal to half base into height. Area of triangle with base as y and height as x is equal to half yx is equal to yx upon 2. Similarly, area of a triangle with base as x and height as y is equal to half xy is equal to xy upon 2. Area of a triangle with base as z and height as z is equal to half z. z is equal to z square upon 2. Sum of the areas of triangle is equal to yx plus xy plus z square upon 2 is equal to 2xy plus z square upon 2, 1. Area of a trapezium is equal to half sum of the lengths of parallel sides into height. Where parallel sides are x and y, height is equal to x plus y. Therefore, area of a trapezium is equal to half x plus y into x plus y is equal to half into bracket x plus y square is equal to half into bracket x square plus y square plus 2xy. 2. But, area of trapezium is equal to sum of areas of triangles. Therefore, half x square plus y square plus 2xy is equal to half 2xy plus z square. Therefore, x square plus y square is equal to z square is the Pythagoras theorem. Now we will give the proof of Pythagoras theorem based on properties of similar triangles. For this, we will study right angle similar triangles.